What's going on, everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today we are checking out Miley Cyrus and Metallica performing Nothing Else Matters live on The Howard Stern Show. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you head on over to the Content Creators channel. Show them some support over there. If you want to get your requests up here as well, make sure you check out the Google form down in the description below. And definitely make sure you check out the Creator Consortium link. Here we go. Let's talk about the song that Miley's going to do with you guys to honor the Black Album. We're talking Man. about Nothing Else Matters. We know from past conversations that, James, you said you didn't even want to present this song to the band because you thought it was too much of a love song. You were kind of ashamed of it. You were embarrassed to show this kind of emotion on a... It's, it's absolutely amazing how well this band is aged. Like, they started off... I feel like if, if I was around when they first started, right, it'd be classic to me instantly, right? But, like, coming to today's day and age... Now, I'm going to let you guys know I'm not someone that thinks personally, right, that Miley Cyrus is someone that can cover this style of music... So I am beyond interested to see how, I guess, she does. I was thinking, like, how she really got with Metallica. Like, somebody give me the backstory and how she started performing this with Metallica. Record, right? Yeah, absolutely. That yeah, was one of those just very vulnerable places. And, you know, uh, that was the last the thing, crisp. especially late 80s, you know. We built this reputation of maybe it's tough not guy, and sub. you know we're made of stone. You can't what hurt us. That? Blah blah blah. Sound definite. This is one of the most vulnerable things, and obviously, the tougher the armor, the bigger the heart you want to show, and but you're afraid to. Mm -hmm. So I was I was shocked when Bob Rock and Lars both said, "That is beautiful. That's an amazing song." It was a life changing experience to be okay playing this for them and them accepting it miley when mm. you are now being asked to do this song and you know the importance of this song to the band who do you sing it to when i first started covering this song it was for glastonbury because it's about honoring music and nothing else matters at that moment when you're at glastonbury any of the shit that is said about me it's my moment to kind of prove myself because it's just mm -hmm. focused on the music and when i did glastonbury it was the first time that i went I didn't have any of the gags and no gimmicks. I wore pants and a shirt. And it was right before actually that the world knew that I was getting a divorce, but I knew that I was about two weeks before Glastonbury. And um, I had just lost my house in the fires and this was my first show back. And so I, Nothing Else Matters to me was about the music because you know, this whole conversation is just resonating with me. To hear, like, James say that he was afraid of something. I feel like she kind of went off in a little uh, side tyrant there. Tyrant, not tirade. A little rant, I guess, if you will. Tyrant. <laughs> English. English simple. A little bit of a rant there, right? <sighs> I don't know. I don't want to call her out too much. And knowing that at that point <laughs> I was afraid of so much. Play it back. I was You'll so hear it. heartbroken. She kind of derails for a second. And my purpose was coming from this performance. I'm glad that she brought it back um, to the music. I got though. sober at that time. I'm very pessimistic I really pulled about my fucking shit together. And this song was what drove me to song. that place. Because I knew that nothing else mattered. My, my life in, in regards to love was kind of falling apart. But I had my love for music. So this is my love letter to music. That's what it means to me. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow, that's, that's great. Beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to do this together. Let's do this. Let's celebrate Let's the Black Album. Right. Let's celebrate this band. Let's celebrate Miley with the band and try it. What do you mean celebrate? Like, I am so confused. Did Miley Cyrus join Metallica? Like, what the hell is going on right now? I am so confused. Oh, let's go. King James, let's go.
There probably won't be much pausing through this. So close, no matter how far. Couldn't be much more from the heart. Forever trusting who we are. No, nothing else matters. Never open myself this way. Life is ours, we live it always. And all the words I don't just say, yeah. Better start putting some heart into this. Trust I see and I find in you. Every day for us something new. You open my for a different go. Okay. Come on, James. Never came for what they know. Cause I know. Though close, no matter how far. Couldn't be Truly much awesome. more wrong. Oh, I love seeing them. Forever trust in who we are. Okay. 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 Never care for what they do. Never care for what they know. Cause I know. See that? Hold up. Miley in the back. Like just giving her faces. Yeah. Never open myself this way. Life is ours, we live it all way. And all the words I don't just say. No, nothing else matters. Okay. Just our seat and our finding you. Every day for us, something new. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Now, why do I feel like they're slowing the tempo down just a touch for her singing? Because as soon as they came into this part of the song, I feel like it sped back up to the original pace of the song. Let me know if I'm wrong, though. Maybe it's just me. Love it. 
So close, no matter how far Couldn't be much more from the heart River trust in who we are No, nothing else matters Nothing else Okay, okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, I definitely feel like in the beginning of that, there wasn't going to be much to it. She definitely brought it back in the second half of that song. However, um, she really looked uncomfortable in the beginning. That That's the one thing that I could really point out for this performance. But nonetheless, she actually did surprise me. Um, I, I am honestly pretty surprised by how well she did. I enjoyed her and Hetfield's doubles together. Um, getting that little bit of coaching from Lars, too, was really cool. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comments below. Let me know where to go from here in the Google form. Like I said, if you haven't yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, if you did enjoy this reaction, hit that thumbs up. And if you didn't, it's all love. I appreciate you guys. Anyway, make sure you smash the crap out of that thumbs down button. Either way, check out one of the other two videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.